In today's video, we have the special honor of being on the Star Princess and sitting down with the Assistant Maitre D Fernando. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. We're so excited to take a culinary tour of the ship here, learn about all the different venues, so much food. We just came out of a delicious brunch, Mwah! and so much more. So we're gonna dive right into the details, but first, thank you so much for sitting down with us. We're so My excited to, to take this culinary journey of all the different restaurants and so much more. So why don't we start off by telling everyone at home a little bit about yourself, where are you from, what do you do here, how long have you been with Princess? Absolutely. Okay. My name is Fernando. I come from a small village called Fatima in Portugal. Uh, currently I'm living up north, uh, next to a Porto region. It's a very nice uh, region for wines and great Portuguese food. I live there with uh, my wife and the two kids. and. Uh, I've been with Princess for uh, 20 odd years. Wow, congratulations. But, but all in all, uh, 30 years at sea. Oh my goodness. So what I do, I do it with love and I sincerely hope to be a year for another 30 years. Oh my goodness, so. wow. So I bet you can also suggest us some excellent port wines as well. Absolutely. Favorite port wine for uh, most of the Portuguese, it's called Ferreira. Oh. That's a very nice one. It's uh, basically a tawny port wine. But uh, the thing is, if you come to Portugal to drink great port wines, you have a massive selection of port wines. But this is the most common one, like Ferreira port, right. because it is like a nectar. So Ooh. when you are basically drinking it, there is this little aftertaste mm -hmm. that's like lingering, like a chewy, and it remains in your palate. Wow. So it's usually for dessert. For dessert, it's amazing. Well, I'm coming to you for the suggestions. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> well, you have quite the knowledge of port wines, but also being in the service injury yes. industry for uh, quite your long tenure. So that's very impressive. Why don't you tell us how you got your start with... Absolutely. Were you in working in hotels? Yes. Or? I started as an apprentice during a school break, mm -hmm. like uh, during vacation. I would go to the hotels, as uh, we call it on the past, bellboy. We used to carry the luggage uh -huh. up to the rooms from the guests when they came out from the buses. And then slowly, slowly, I started to get interest for the dining rooms. In those years, I was allowed only to clear the table after the guests leave. I was not even allowed to get in touch with the guests. But somehow it was a challenge, so I started to learn all the basics. Once I learned the basics, they allowed me to serve the guests. Then I took what I call a certification. And then from the certification, age 18, I heard on the news, on the radio, that they were looking for waiters for cruise lines. Oh. So, here I go. Cruise from lines. a radio ad? Yeah, wow. from a radio ad, yes. That's so cool. So I just contacted them and they, they, they went for qualifications. Mm -hmm. They asked me all my qualifications, I showed it to them. Plus, the age 12, more or less, I was already able to speak five different languages. Because That's I was, so impressive. No, the school system was very strict back then. Really? And if you did not learn, uh, tendency was our ears to stretch, you know? Wow. So therefore, it was very good. It was a formal uh, education. But That's uh, an extra gold star. Oh yeah. Well, a few gold stars yeah. extra to you for your resume for the cruise lines. Exactly. And so, so many on the cruises speak so many different languages. That's it. So. And we have, uh, we have uh, amongst us, before when I started, you could count it by the fingers how many nationalities. Uh -huh. I would say uh, Portuguese, Italians, a uh, few Spaniards, like Mexicans. Mm -hmm. But then uh, throughout the years, now I can say about 37, 38 different nationalities working currently on the cruise lines. Wow. Now cruise lines, a yeah. lot. And we get along. I would say that United Nations would be very proud of us because we get along very well. Yeah. All of us. And you know the reason why we get along so well? Because you're a family. And not only that, there is another reason. No politicians on board. Ah. I see, eh? <laughs> and so, now we know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So let's move on to some of the venues where we can dine in aboard the ship. Let's start with the complimentary dinings first. Absolutely. There's quite a few. You won't go hungry, and there's so many options to Absolutely. choose from. So do you have a favorite? Uh, honestly, all of them are my favorite. And I tell you what, I go back to the same word I said a while ago. I came to the ship with uh, this much, I leave the ship with this much. You know, like I'm talking about, my body transforms itself in a really muscle person. You know? You're a transformer. A transformer, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Uh, regarding the food, of course. Yes. Then uh, you have like all the dining rooms that we have here on board. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the three, Portofino, Capri and Amalfi. The menu is exactly the same on those three dining rooms. They're the complimentary ones. Then you have the buffet. There is a wide array of foods, and the selections are amazing because they are not repetitive. Right. You know? They keep on putting really nice salads in there, nice meat cuts, and they do like uh, team nights. Like during the evenings, we have team nights like the Italian dinner, Oktoberfest, and things like that. 
So it's always something different for the guests to go, wow. But if you really want to be pampered, you know, the intention is like to pamper you in the dining room. So you can have the full attention of your waiting staff and to make sure that you are pampered until you leave the dining room. Uh, all the other outlets, it's basically self-service. We are there also to pamper you, but it's not so dedicated into the guest like you'd like to. Right. That, that would be my personal opinion for so many years. If I come on a cruise line, I want to be pampered by my waiter. Mm -hmm. I say, this guy is going to really take good care of me. And then we create a great relation, you know, between yeah. the waiter and the guest. Yeah. And that's what we want, like family type relationship. Upstairs on the buffet, like I said, you got the self-service, you got a huge variety of food. Then you have also the hamburger bar that during the day you got your famous hot dogs, cheeseburgers. Nighttime, they pamper you with some extra. Sometimes they have chicken wings in there. They have other types of barbecues. Uh, late you, night snack. Oh yeah, late night snack, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Then you have also the pizzeria just next to the hamburger Award bar. Award winning. Award winning, yes. And they have some uh, the pizza of the day. They always make a different one. And uh, they have always the pepperoni and margarita available. Mm -hmm. So Delicious. you want to you get a uh, slice by all means, just go there anytime you want. Of course, until closing time. Yeah. Then you have the room service, which uh, we are very proud to say that's 24 hours mm -hmm. available. And you feel like you have a little mice on your tummy, you just call them and you say, look, uh, I want to grab a sandwich, I want to have this, I want to have that. And they will, they will tell you the menu that we have the availabilities mm -hmm. and they'll deliver to your room complimentary. Right. So basically the only thing that you need to purchase, it will be the booze, the alcohol. Right. So in between these things, also the International Cafe, 24 hours open. That has been so convenient. Our room has been very close to the International oh, Cafe. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, because so that's five around the corner. <laughs> we're <laughs> breezing by. Oh, what do they have today? Mm, you see those delicious options. Morning, you got those amazing pastries in there. We've you been know. enjoying the breakfast sandwiches there, too. Very nice. Then you go to the lunch sandwich where they'll squash it in front of you, melt the cheese, yeah. make it like this and beautiful aroma. I always avoid that area for me because it's very painful, you know? <laughs> so when I go, I look into the you know, the food section, and I say, you look very nice, and I go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I see the guests, they always have a big smile, and nothing better than a nice cappuccino, yeah. or a nice latte, whatever you, is your favorite Especially one. Especially on a ceiling like ours with Alaska, where it's a little chilly, grab a hot chocolate, something yes. to warm you up, it's awesome. Uh, now the Piazza is one place that if you notice, especially in the mornings, like between 8 and about 12, it's always fully packed. Yeah. Because people, they love it. You know, all these aromas there combined with the coffee, because the coffee is a color. Right. It's a big color. And then, of course, you sit, people sit there with their uh, phones, they enjoy themselves, yeah, chatting take your around. Time and wake up. There is the performers, they go there very often. In the often. evening, yeah. In the evening, yeah. So it's always like a light up. Then, after those uh, complimentary ones, you have also the famous Crown Grill. Yes, where we are right yes. now, we're inside the Crown, the Crown Grill. Grill. So tell us all about this restaurant since it is our lovely location. And it's somebody's favorite, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Crown Grill, Steakhouse, Lush Steakhouse. Okay, this is, as you can see, uh, it's a very nice uh, environment. It's a beautiful restaurant, all this wood uh, design. And uh, let's, the prime cuts that we have, the meat that we have in here. If you come in here, first, I suggest you to cut slack on your tea time. Okay? Oh. So the tea time, maybe you want to skip it because you already have the booking here to come to the Crown Grill. Come you hungry. Come hungry, yeah. You get uh, lots of appetizers, you get the salads, you have the soups, you have the main course. Honestly, you should try it. You should go like step by step. Appetizer, then you go for the soup, then you go for the salad. You have the Caprese salad with the goat cheese. It's amazing in here. And then you go into the main course. Now on the main course, you got steaks, a nice variety. You got the porterhouse, it's a very famous one, or the T-bone as you wish to call it. You got the ribeyes, it's one of the guest's favorite ones, is the ribeyes. And then uh, it comes with all the servings like creamy spinach, uh, garlic french fries that you don't get very often in the restaurants. Oh. And the garlic french fries really bring up the palate, especially when you're having meat. Mm -hmm. You go for the garlic french fries, it's like a nice blend, a nice combination. Then you must, because if you don't do that, if you order an iced tea, while you're having a steak, for me, it's like a crime. Really? Yeah, you should have a very nice glass of red wine. Oh, okay. We have an amazing combination of uh, red wines in here. Our wine list is very extensive, and this one would really complement your meal very nicely. You don't need to go for the most expensive ones, but definitely 
you should have a proper red wine. Yeah. We have like robust wines that goes very well with the steak. Mm -hmm. You got mild wines. The choices are so big and the waiters will be more than happy to explain to you every detail about the wines. Everyone has a vast knowledge of, oh, yes. of helping you choose. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So the wide array of wines and the waiters will be more than happy to explain because the waiters, they are knowledgeable about the wines and we deal with them every single day. Yeah. So for us, the more that we deal with wines, the more knowledge and experience that we get in regarding of the wines. Then myself, if you notice on my top lapel, I have this signage in here. This is like a, a wine expert uh, course, like a sommelier's course that we take. Oh. We have different stages and only a few individuals have it on the ship. Wow. You know? So uh, mostly I would say supervisors and managers. We have this one. We have to go for a course, like starting eight o'clock in the morning until 11 for about a couple of weeks, enjoying different types of wine. It's a hard life. Uh, it's very hard <laughs> because by 10 o'clock in the morning we start to go cuckoo. You know? <laughs> But on the other hand, it's very beneficial yeah. because we are able to express ourselves to the guests on a proper way in right. regards of the wine, you know, the flavors. You know from experience. Yeah, exactly, the aromas. So I'm very happy that the uh, princess, they brought me into this course. And uh, I'm always learning every day in regards of different things. And for me, it's a blessing. I'm That's able excellent. to learn. No, of course. So let's move on to some of the other specialty dining restaurants that... Sabatini. Yes. Sabatini, okay. Sabatini, let's call it Trattoria, okay? The Trattoria, like they say, Trattoria, Trattoria, they're specialized in Italian foods, mostly this one, the Trattoria in pastas. Now, the pasta is freshly made. We have our own machine to make the pasta, you know, from the flour. So, therefore, you're not going to eat the pasta on the Sabatini that you say it's pasta dried and you just put it in the water. No. It's freshly made. You can actually literally see the pasta in front of you, like the linguines, the farfales, whatever they make it. And this pasta will be like cooked once you come. So therefore, uh, there is always something that the guests should understand. Any meal coming, like crown grill or sabatini, they cannot go there and expect to eat in about 30 minutes and go. Mm -hmm. Every single plate is cooked a la mano, that means a la minute. So you order your steak, it's going to be placed on the grill for you. Right. Uh, your soup, they're going to make the last part, like the gratination, right there. So every single take time. So you need to allow yourself, either Crown Grill or Sabatini, a good two, two and a half hours. Wow. Yeah. This place is, is with time, book in advance always because the guests have tendency to book very early. Mm -hmm. So make sure when you board the ship, you already know that you want to eat on the Crown Grill. Just call the dine line, 3463 three, all over the fleet. Mm -hmm and they will be more than happy to make your arrangements for the evening in question. Right. But just remember, allow yourself two hours. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. experience. Yeah, you so don't, you exactly, want to exactly. absorb it all and yeah. enjoy every slowly, bit of it. Slowly, 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 and either Sabatini or Crown Grill, pace yourselves, like uh, during the afternoon, yeah. in order for you to have a big appetite for the evening time. There you go. 90% or 95% of the stuff made on board of the ship, it's all from scratch. It's so impressive. Yeah, all from scratch. I'm talking about food-wise, of course. Yeah. Because uh, there is nothing that we get it from a uh, short side and uh, just give it to the guests. No. Uh, prepared, complemented, arranged, you know. So it's definitely an operation that involves a lot of manpower and knowledge. Yeah. Because how can I present to you a beautiful canapé if the canapé is all twisted, like yeah. side falling down? No, you cannot. <laughs> it must be on this position, nicest, because the first thing for anyone, and I talk for myself for experience, is if I don't like what I see, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to enjoy it. So the presentation, it's a must. Yeah. So when the plates come out from the galley, uh, the waiter needs to ensure it's the way it's supposed to be served to the guests. And if something is smeared, the chefs will correct immediately, you know? So no, honestly, we are very proud of what we do. It's a pleasure because this kind of job, you cannot be here just because you are. You must love this job. So this is a must for me. Yeah. It's so that's why I told you in the beginning, another 30 years and then I can retire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this culinary journey on the Star Princess, learning all about the different venues and everything that we can really make ourselves hungry here with how delicious, so many endless options. So thank you so much, Fernando, for sitting down with us, taking us through, and I hope you at home have enjoyed and you're not too hungry. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and until next time, ciao for now. O prazer foi meu, espero de vê-los todos no futuro próximo. Para a minha família em Portugal, mulher e filhos e mãe, e para toda a família que eu tenho no Brasil, que eu tenho muita, um beijo grande e um abraço grande. Hein? E até mais, 
não, não se esqueça de subscrever. Tchau!